it, it is an honor, uh, Mr. Chancellor, to, to be with you and uh, the regents who, who are here and uh, representing the, the university and um, some of you who are former regents and, and who love this university and uh, more importantly love what uh, this institution uh, has done and, and will do in the future. And this is an extraordinary day, as has already been uh, mentioned. It's a, it's a great day for Houston. Uh, it is a bright day. As I left Austin this morning, um, the, the, the brightness and the, and the clarity uh, of the day was stunning uh, as we lifted off and came this way. And I thought, what a very appropriate um, visual for a day uh, that has such great brightness, such great hope, uh, such great clarity, and uh, the opportunity to officially welcome uh, Dr. De Pieno and, and Dr. Chin uh, to, uh, to Texas. And uh, he, he truly is bringing an inspired team. Um, this announcement is, as you will hear from each of the speakers, is substantial. Uh, and it's not just uh, for those who have been intimately involved, uh, Dr. Shine, with this, with this effort, um, but it's, it is so important for everyone in this state and this country and in the world who have been impacted by cancer, those who have lost loved ones, those who have lost a friend. Um, to this very terrible disease. And here in Texas, we've had our sights set on uh, conquering cancer for quite a while. Uh, back in 2007, I called on the legislature to help make Texas the home for a, um, um, an institution or even more so an environment where that we could um, find the next wave of treatments to combat cancer and later that year the Cancer Prevention and Research Institute of Texas was passed by the voters of the state and it was uh, a, a very significant day in the history of, of Texas and in our battle uh, to conquer uh, this disease and in the years since CPRIT has funded more than 350 awards. Uh, they totaled more than $570 million for cancer research and commercialization and prevention. Uh, it's been done in academic institutions. It's been nonprofit organizations. It's been private companies, uh, including the matching funds. That's more than $800 million that's been pumped into our fight against cancer. And that's important. It's important because I believe this state represents a unique crossroads, a place where academic research can come together with a very vibrant private sector, uh, tap into this steadily growing bioscience sector that's just scratching the surface of its potential in this state. We've taken steps over the past 10 years to nurture that sector. First, by maintaining a business climate that uh, is consistently ranked as one of the best in the nation. Our combination of low taxes and predictable regulations of fair courts, a world-class wor workforce has helped create an economic stronghold that's been the envy of the nation for the last decade. And it's been a boon for innovative young companies who are seeking uh, firm footing during their early years. Through CPRIT and our Emerging Technology Fund, we've attracted many of the best intellects from around the world. We put them to work on projects that will improve communities and cure diseases, save lives. Indeed, I believe Texas holds the potential of becoming the nation's next high-tech hub, a center of innovation, collaboration and competition for the next wave of technology development and manufacturing. Yeah, now, that's a role that's historically been played 
uh, in the Boston corridor uh, with those significant minds at MIT and at Harvard that were supplemented by their venture capitalists and the economic strength of New England. Uh, many of our newly minted Texans that are here today can tell you about what they were able to accomplish there. It's a role that was filled by the Silicon Valley with the innovators at Berkeley and Stanford who were supported by the West Coast VC engine. And here in Texas, we're close to reaching that level uh, as well with world-class research being conducted and put to work at our universities, here at MD Anderson Cancer Center, and at a number of startup companies stretching from Houston to El Paso and points in between. We're creating a culture that will help ensure that great ideas that are born in Texas will stay in Texas, from the laboratory to the marketplace, and then we will export them around the world. Through the ETF, the state has invested nearly $178 million in grant matching and research superiority funds to Texas universities, helping uh, attract some of the top researchers in their respective fields to the Lone Star State. And it's that influx of talent, dedication, and expertise uh, that is helping to reshape the Texas of the future bringing our state closer to um, that day when it is the first place that people think about when they imagine life-changing, life-saving innovations. Today's announcement is the culmination of a lot of planning and plenty of hard work. And it represents a significant milestone in our ongoing efforts against cancer. I still remember, Gene, the day that you called and telling me that this center was a possibility. And I can't tell you how excited I am to see it becoming a reality. Dr. Dreta and, and uh, you and, and Dr. Chen, um, let me assure you, there is no place in the country, and I will suggest to you there's no place in the world that's a better fit for you and your team than MD Anderson. This place, the people who make it special, they live and they breathe innovation. As I look at that group of uh, researchers and doctors and nurses, practitioners in the back of this room, uh, it, it, that's what jumps out is just the the special people, the, the, the boast of that can-do attitude that is in this room, that's in this facility. Um, I happen to find it very invigorating and, and, and even addictive <laughs> in, a, in a very good way. Uh, so I look forward to hearing uh, more about the wonderful things that will be happening soon at the Institute for Cancer Research through their labors here, will have a better understanding of this disease, a better route to take promising new drugs from the laboratory to the doctor's office, and a much better chance of destroying cancer in our lifetime. So once again, let me just say to um, each of you, thank you for making that decision to come here. God bless you. And through you, may God continue to bless the great state of Texas and, in extension, the entire world. Thank you.